face to face. And today we're going to go to Algeria. Uh, I'm with Brahim, and we're going to talk about the situation, political situation in uh, in Algeria, and the, where there's been a lot of protests for many months. So, can you describe a little bit Algeria, and then we we'll talk about what's happening at the political level? Absolutely. Um, there's been uh, a popular movement, a popular revolution uh, taking place over the last 10 months and uh, millions of Algerians. Yeah, this is unbelievable. How many millions of people have been well, protesting on the street? Official official numbers in uh, mid-March put that at 22 million. In 22 country, million on the street? In a country uh, of 37 million. Uh, and people. no one, I mean, in the US, is no one talking about it? Um, there's been there's been very little, little very little, little, little very little yeah and uh, algerians actually have been complaining and uh, about the sort yeah. of media blackout yeah. uh, that uh, the popular movement is subjected to and asking the questions why why are certain uh, popular movements like hong kong for example get coverage uh, every 5 minutes exactly absolutely but not uh, not uh, not uh, the movement in algeria and uh, you know the obvious answer is is the politics of the of the movement, and uh, its relationship to corporate media yeah. uh, all over the world. Yeah. So, ten months of of protests uh, to end um, a military oligarchic. So uh, before you go there, can you explain a little bit Algeria? Where is Algeria? And then the uh, it's very in North short Africa. Uh, uh, Algeria is 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 the largest country now in Africa after the. So, sort of the splitting of, of uh, Sudan. Uh -huh. uh, it's the size of uh, 11 con European countries, Western European countries. Exactly. It's the largest uh, largest uh, provider of gas, natural gas, and and uh, and oil for uh, for Europe, especially Southern Europe, uh, France, Spain, and Italy. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the main uh, players in the African Union. Uh, it borders Tunisia, Morocco, Libya, Mali, Niger, Chad. Uh, so it's it's a very powerful place uh, and very strategic, it's very strategic. Uh, strategically uh, positioned. So yeah, um, it's on the Mediterranean. It has a, a, a thousand miles of coastline, mm -hmm. Mediterranean coastline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the population is 44 million, with mm -hmm. uh, 37 living within. Mm -hmm. Uh, the country, um, the diasporic uh, population is mainly concentrated in France. In Europe, yeah. Uh, in Europe, but France, spe specifically in France. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure. Is yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, great. Yeah, it's great yeah. for people to get a sense yeah, of, of yeah. Uh, where is Algeria, yeah. and then so the the, the uprising was it, it's like a democratic upset of the people because of non-participation and and the president uh, Mubarak was for in power uh, for uh, how long? Bouteflika. Bouteflika, Bouteflika. sorry. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not only sort of participation, but genuine participation, yeah. because there has been a, a simulacrum of, of participation in Algeria for decades, where you have elections, you have a civilian uh, leadership uh, that is really a facade to a military oligarchic uh, uh, sort of uh, yeah. So uh, that's what I was reading. It's actually the military are more or less running the show, the, and they have been since independence. So since, since 1962, 62. they are running the show. Yes, and uh, and so so the, the Algerians are, are are have said enough is enough of this situation of the dispossession that Algerians have been subjected to, of the concessions and the surrendering of national sovereignty enough of treating Algerians as, as, as a herd of cattle. Um, so they are taking matters into their own hands and, uh, and they're, they're demanding an end to military rule. Uh, the, the return of the plunder, plundered resources uh, of, the, of, the, of the country uh, in the last 20 years alone, um, Algeria had 1.5 uh, uh, trillion dollars in revenues. Um, yet you still have a president who goes abroad to to get medical treatment. Yeah. Um, so Algerians are are, are, uh, are asking the questions: Where is the money? Mm -hmm. uh, why are the, our hospitals 
in I the know. state they are, mm -hmm. why is our, our schools in the state they are, uh, they are in, uh, why our universities <coughs> are in the state uh, that they are in, why is the uh, rate of unemployment so high? so high, why is the problems of housing and infrastructures, uh, infrastructure in, in such uh, dismal, yes, um, dismal si situation. So uh, Algerians are, are, are out on the streets to take back their, their voices, their power, and, uh, and uh, yeah. But what happened, why Sudan, I mean, not Sudan, but why create this, this wake-up call? What, what, what people, uh, how do you... You mean the, the, the trigger for... Yeah, uh, the trigger. I think uh, um, it, was, it was a matter of time for it to, to happen. Uh -huh. uh, grievances have been accumulating uh, uh, for, for decades. Uh, over the last decades, we've been seeing, or last few decades, we've been seeing all these uh, uh, movements around the world that are fighting austerity, they're yeah. fighting the pauperization, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and so on. But uh, spe uh, specifically in the region, we've seen uprisings in Tunisia, yeah. in, in Libya, in uh, Egypt, and elsewhere, uh, in Burkina Lebanon, Faso, yeah. and, um, and, and, and so on. So Algerians have been watching and keeping a close eye on, on what's happening. They are also very aware of the stakes involved in, in, in the region. Uh, as your guest uh, earlier was uh, uh, talking about Yemen and the, uh, the project for a new Middle East, you know, the, the, the division of, of, of Sudan, the de facto division of Yemen, the uh, division, de facto division in some ways of Syria, of, 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 uh, of Iraq, and they've been uh, taking note. So yes, for, uh, for, uh, for change, for freedom, for justice, social justice, uh, but also they are aware of imperialist designs in, in the, for the French intervention in Mali, yeah. uh, their presence in, in Niger. Yeah. Um, so they are, yes, for, for freedom, yes, for, uh, for justice, but no Minute to imperialism. To yeah. um, and I think that message might be so, sort of explanatory of uh, sort of the, the, the media blackout. So um, we, we met in Union Square. So do you have action happening all over? I mean, imagine in Paris or in France, right. but also in, I mean, I saw it in New York. So I imagine then people are also mobilized in, in other places. Absolutely. Algerians are mobilized everywhere and uh, around the globe, um, especially, especially in the last uh, two months. Uh, in the diaspora, especially, and this last week, uh, more specifically. Um, because usually the people who, who immigrate are not the more progressive people, I mean, at least in, in, in some community in New York, sometimes uh, they are very conservators. So I don't know about the Algerian. Um, I, I think uh, Algeria, the Algerian diaspora is not monolithic. So you have um, uh, the, the, the major waves of immigration out of the country mm -hmm. started in the, in the 90s, mm -hmm. uh, when the, uh, some generals uh, stopped. Uh, they, there, was, there was a coup, a coup against, against, uh, against, the, uh, against popular will. There were elections in 1992. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that were won by an Islamist uh, government at the time, and the uh, the leadership of the military in cahoots with the former colonial power, i.e., France and the U.S., um, backed a coup against the, the then uh, president Shadli, uh, cancelled the elections, wow. and uh, and you know. Uh, what ensued that is was democracy as we can exactly and what ensued is uh, over 200,000 people were, were killed uh, over 24,000 people disappeared until today there are Algerian women who still uh, are um, mothers who still don't know whether their what kids happens, are, happens, are, are, are alive or not yeah. um, a country an economy uh, state state uh, publicly owned mm -hmm. uh, companies were dismantled and privatized uh, to yeah. um, networks but, of, of yeah. privilege yeah. Uh, around, yeah. around yeah. the military, yeah. and and later on, really, well, you know, for 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 this um, for this regime, if you like, to to gain some legitimacy because it had no shred of it at home, uh, it had to 
to, look at international to, to sell out yeah. uh, uh, Algeria's resources yeah. and give all these concessions yeah. to be to be uh, as, to as be the, supported, uh, yeah. to be supported yeah. internationally yeah. and uh, so that, that's that's the sort of the long durée uh, context against which the difference. uprising yeah. is, is happening so how do you see the next few months I mean what 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 are the next steps what are the, the, the uh, well, I mean, if we can, if, we, if we can understand absolutely. or I can know what. Right. So uh, right now, uh, right now, the the uh, military re leadership, the military high command, is uh, is turning a blind eye to to the protest, the, to the protest, to, yeah. to the people, and it's backed by international yeah. uh, actors. Yeah, it's the same in Chile. Uh, so yeah. ten ten months of peaceful protest yeah. where millions of people are on the street. Not no, I saw some photos. It's unbelievable. Not I a single glass has been broken yeah. in ten months. Yeah. Not a single glass has been uh, has been broken, and not a single country yeah, has, has actually made an official statement. And no one. Not a single country. No one, no one None. ever supported the, the, prote the protest in, in, in Algeria. None no whatsoever. One. None whatsoever. Until today. Until today. Why? Uh, I mean, today something happened? No, no. No, no. no until until, yeah, yeah, yeah. until tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Until, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so no one has supported the uprising in Algeria. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that is because they are they are complicit in the in the oppression of Algerian of, of Algerians. They benefit from keeping. Uh, for uh, they benefit from having a, a weak, illegitimate uh, military oligarchy that is dependent on them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it opens it opens its uh, its coffers to them without without any any. So any, uh, when I spoke with a couple of people there, there were a story with Facebook blocking the account. C can you describe quickly or you? Yeah, sure. So. Uh, the the uh, foreign intervention happens from states, but also cor corporations uh, and uh, tech cor corporations have been especially especially uh, complicit in in the psychological warfare against Algerian people. So, uh, in addition to the local and international media blackout on what's happening, now tech companies are allowing allowing troll farms operated by intelligence services in, in, in Algeria, but also in by Egypt uh, under Sisi, uh, in the UAE, and in, in Saudi Arabia Saudi and Arabia. Israel yeah. to... To filter? To, not to filter, okay. to bombard Algerians uh, who are on social media with, uh, with uh, pro-military propaganda. propaganda. Uh, they denigrate uh, oppositional figures, and Facebook has been instrumental through uh, through its regional offices in Israel and the UAE so, so. to close accounts, page, thousands of accounts and pages belonging to journalists, to bloggers and political uh, opposition who are trying to break this media blackout. So it's Israel who is responsible to overview the so-called security filter for Facebook in in Africa or in North Face, Africa, Facebook, Facebook has two regional offices in in the region. One in Israel, one in in uh, in, um, in the UAE. Yeah. And uh, the, I, I, I'm personally not entirely sure about the division of labor between okay. them, but there is there is definitely uh, a say. They have a say in anything that is published in Arabic. So I see. So they have an oversight, the okay. right of oversight, and, uh, and, so and also the UAE through its its uh, its uh, sovereign fund owns a large chunk uh, of, of Facebook oh, yeah, and yeah, of yeah, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So so they have as shareholders also, also they have they have a lot of power and, and say. And so first they create troll account to to disseminate the information and misinformation to, and to the close or block. The people who, who are, are trying to break the media blackout. Who are trying to, to yeah. break yeah. uh, The Middle East Eye uh, uh, website uh, last last month had uh, had uh, had uh, an article, an investigative um, piece uh, about about who, who, who did so the, the Middle East Eye, MiddleEastEye.com. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, and they've demonstrated clearly the relationship between uh, tech companies and uh, the military industrial complex in in the West. Where you had the the person responsible for Twitter in the Middle East is a special ops officer of the British Army, 
uh, and 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 psychological uh, experts in psych psychological warfare. Wow! So there is there is there is a real um, sort of psychological warfare that is being waged on peoples, and I and I uh, uh, the the New York Times. Uh, a few weeks ago, had had an article about sort of the relationship between authoritarianism and uh, and uh, and social media, where they showed these companies that are linked to intelligence uh, apparatuses in in Egypt and in uh, the UAE, bombarding Sudanese protesters with pro uh, military uh, propaganda and uh, uh, you know and campaigns of defamation against against uh, activists and, and and so on so so what the people are doing uh, how I mean how can you how do they do they contour the situation do they find other way to yeah. to right in algeria they call them zubab uh, electroni it's uh, electronic flies uh -huh. so uh, the popular movement has been pushing for for, for a counter movement called uh, electronic bees because flies, flies go to to dirty places, yeah, and I bees know. are productive. <laughs> and, uh, oh, that's and, great! They do. So that's it? the yeah. uh, uh, and and it's it's about sort of sharing information, uh, trying to help each other. When when what what also happens? What these troll farms do is they go to say a, a particular page or a particular post, and they signal or report it. Oh, so is it blocked? Uh, so, so if you have, these are um, uh, troll uh, farms, state-operated troll farms, so yeah. you can get 60,000 reports on your page. And, then and the page is done. It's, uh, it's, it's, go it's gone. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, if, that, if one of the pages is, try is under attack, usually they sort of publish that and uh, others, other pages uh, di disseminate it, and then it's the movement, you know, individuals who try and, and uh, chip in to help. Um, it has not been. Uh, it's not. It's no match. It's an asymmetrical uh, fight, if you like. But that's why uh, here in New York, in in um, in uh, San Francisco, in Washington D.C., Paris, London, uh, Dublin, Berlin, um, Geneva, uh, the Algerian community, Alger Algerian diaspora has been organizing almost every Thursday uh, sit-ins and rallies next to uh, Facebook's. Uh, uh, offices oh, yeah. uh, to denounce its complicity in in uh, in this uh, psychological warfare on Algerians and to denounce its its um, its its involvement uh, in in censoring free voices in Algeria and elsewhere in the, in, in the world. And and to, uh, last and and we finish. You uh, organize uh, uh, like days in front of the consulate here in in New York, like yeah. like. Full days from S seven to eight. Uh, right. So uh, um, this the Saturday. Uh, well, the the military high command is trying to push through its roadmap. So it's trying to push through elections this coming Thursday, the twelfth. The twelfth December twelfth, you will be election in Algeria. Right. Or, or an electoral masquerade. What the, what the, the majority what of Algerians Algeria, yeah. uh, consider to be an electoral masquerade to renew because they want to dot themselves with a new civilian. Facade, yeah. uh, without changing anything. Yeah. It's still all the lib liberticidal um, uh, legislations are still in place. Mm -hmm. There is no freedom of movement. There is no freedom of speech. There is no sp freedom of of the press. Uh, very restrictive uh, political party law, uh, associational law. Syndicates and unions are are Probably constantly uh, attacked. constantly attacked. So, within this uh, this context, Algerians are not. Um, they're not buying it, yeah. and they will not stop mm -hmm. until they wrench their, their their freedom. So Algerians, uh, however, Algerians abroad for Algerians for the diaspora, the the voting process has started uh, two days ago on Saturday the seventh, um, and uh, yesterday and the day before uh, this weekend, there's uh, there's been massive um, rallies next to the Algerian General Consulate on 47th. Between Madison and Fifth Avenue, and uh, today, as we speak, there are Algerians who are protesting right now at the consulate, and that will be the, the case uh, in, in, uh, for the next uh, the next three days until until Thursday. But not only in New York, the same has been happening in um, in Washington D.C., where the uh, embassy is, and the mobile or mobile uh, polling stations that uh, they have set up. Um, 
in, in San Francisco, in, in mm -hmm. Chicago and elsewhere. But also the community has, has, has done the same in, in the UK, in France. In France alone there are 18 consulates and uh, there has been a uh, massive mobilization of the Algerian diaspora Yeah, there. it's a huge community in France. I mean, exactly. it's millions of people. It's well, and, but also the, the, the French uh, political establishment has been, um, has been key in helping these. Uh, they've been securing the, this, uh, the elections. Yeah, they've of been course. arresting, uh, arresting, uh, arresting Algerian activists, putting them in detention. Yeah. Uh, with, in, uh, for for 48 hours and then releasing yeah, them, they, there course. is there is really nothing for them to, to yeah, hold on. Yeah. But the campaign of intimidation yeah. uh, against uh, these protests are are uh, uh, same is happening in Madrid and Alicante yeah. and, and in Spain, in Italy, um, in in uh, in Switzerland, all over all over the uh, the uh, the world. So, what are the challenges after the election? Because the election is going to be like, now we have a government or we have a face and people have voted and right. everybody should go home and be quiet. That's exactly their plan. Yeah. Uh, the plan is to do that because that's what their yeah. masters abroad are telling yeah. them to do so, yeah. so they can deal with them. So they're saying, get a government, get, get an election through, even if you have 0.5% of the uh, population, because there is a massive So boycott. people are boycotting the election, or I what, was, what, uh, is, what is the call, the general call? It's boycott or? No elections. No elections. No elections with the gangsters, so the, that's what so the, the street the, says. The elections are not recognized. Are not recognized. So the elections are on, on Thursday. Yeah. On Friday, it'll be the 43rd consecutive Friday of protest, where millions of, uh, wow. of Algerians will be on the streets across the country and uh, we've seen the mobilization over the uh, just last week uh, there are 48 uh, wilayas in algeria wilayas are states and uh, there there is not one state that uh, that has not uh, seen some some form of protest Forty. yesterday also uh, a general strike has uh, kicked in mm -hmm. in in the country um, and it will continue until the 12th so the, these elections as far as algerians are concerned are a non-event. Okay. Are a non-event. Uh, so, also, also uh, I, sh I should mention that uh, 10th of December is the International Day of Human Rights, and hundreds of political prisoners are uh, entering into a hunger strike uh, tomorrow. So keep an eye also for uh, for uh, inf information on that. That's an open-ended uh, hunger strike. How people can reach you? Do you want people to know more? How? What? What are the best way to to have more detail? Well, there are uh, there, there is a website, a, a Facebook page, and uh, and Twitter account that is run by uh, by members of of the uh, community here. It's called Algeria Revolt. Algeria Revolt, all one word. Uh, AlgeriaRevolt.com for the, uh, the website. For the website. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, these members are. Um, try to translate stuff in, in, in English for yeah. an English-speaking audience Great. Uh, to keep them informed okay. and, uh, of, of what's happening and, uh, and so on. So that's one way. There is also uh, an email address, algeriarevolt at gmail.com okay. uh, that could be reached and, uh, and uh, so to well. keep in touch okay. that way. Thank you so much for coming. Please keep me posted to any, any event sure. uh, and any uh, information concerning the process. Anything else you want to... No, I would just like to, to thank uh, you and the, the network for, uh, for having me and for, uh, for actually no, breaking, no, it's, doing it's, your I was very in breaking I was uh, very the, the media blackout. With, on, I was on, very on impressed with, with what I heard and what I saw. It's, it's a very important. Well, thank you so much for having me. Congratulations. Thank it, you so much. It's my that was your show Face to Face and please keep watching your news on Presenza.com. And uh, please forward this uh, information to your friend, to your family, subscribe, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.